which is also a celebration of Mrs. Mwanawasa's life. As we heard from the many that have spoken before me. Let me acknowledge the former vice presidents that are here, and former first ladies that are here, Chief Justice Mumba Malila and his wife. Let me acknowledge the representative of the Speaker of the National Assembly and also cabinet colleagues that are present and the provincial ministers that may be here. I know Madam Muriata is here. Let me also acknowledge the great number of former ministers, those that have served our country before our time. As you know, service is a continuation from where others left. We continue. So we recognize those that served our country in the roles that we serve today. Let me acknowledge the Acting Secretary of the Cabinet and all public sector workers that are here, central government, local government. Because of time, I'm resting through, but also the service chiefs, serving and former service chiefs. I must acknowledge members of parliament that are present, also my colleagues in the UPND Alliance and political party leaders, UPND and other political parties in our democratic, constitutional democratic country. I must recognize various leaders, church leaders that are here. I do also appreciate the presence of former Chief Justices that are present. I must indicate here that the diplomatic corps are here. I've seen some of them. We recognize you. Indeed, many others, members of the press, fellow mourners. I want to say that A lot has been said, and we acknowledge all that which has been said. But we join the children and the Kakubo and Manawasa families in mourning Dr. Maureen Kakubo Manawasa today. We offer our sincere condolences to the children the two families, as Jonas said, the extended family, a very large family, as we know, a normal person, I must say, natural person, will have parents from four sides, and these will have greater numbers behind them that are associated with that individual. So. We all, many of us here, come from extended families, so we want to join all of our condolences to the broader families and the nation of Zambia and beyond. Truly, from what we have heard today, this daughter, this sister, daughter of ours, meant a lot to many, to the children, of course, to the sisters, brothers, the elder brother spoke here. I was speaking to the sister yesterday at the funeral house, and we discussed a number of things as to what Dr. Mwanawasa meant to them. So, she wasn't only our daughter, Jonas. She was a daughter of ours, sister of ours, but a sister to the daughter to the country and to the world. So we want to celebrate her life, truly dignified life. We celebrate the good things she did for the community. I must say communities. We just listened to a speech here. 
and also an example of the beneficiaries of her community work, philanthropic work, extensive for that matter. So we celebrate her. We celebrate and thank God for giving us, her to us. We thank God for allowing her to do what she did for humanity. I must also say, in celebrating her legacy, it is important, very important, extremely important for us to appreciate that. In the life we are given, decided by God, and only he decides, only he decides. Again, at the funeral house we were chatting yesterday that there is a day like today when we'll be burying her at her age her elder brother spoke here and said she jumped the queue but she didn't jump the queue that's God's way only he decides as we all know God says his ways are not our ways we who are humans so that's God's way but when God grants us life on a day like this we're burying her on a day when her husband, her beloved husband, passed on, sitting next to the Chief Justice, on a day when she graduated as a lawyer 30 years ago, on this day, who else can make such things happen other than God? I ask. Only He makes these decisions in His wisdom. He had already planned it this way. That is his plan. Now the question is that, as we sit here, God has given us life, allowed us to be born of any parentage. That's the wisdom of God. I hear many Zambians ridiculing each other, challenging each other because God decided that this one will be born in Ipongo, in Mushingashi, how can you question such things? And from which parents, what language you speak, I call it the way you twist your tongues. How can you debate God's natural gifts and phenomena? Sometimes I ask myself, I ask my wife, I said, maybe my brain doesn't work well. How is it that people spend so much time arguing about ethnicity? all of which are gifts from God. So, we should learn a lesson from her life. But the question I'm putting to the people here is that when God has allowed us to be born from any parentage, any part of the country, indeed any part of the world, we accept that. We take it in. Before he takes us away, what are we doing? to our families, for our families, for our communities. I'm asking all of us here, what have you done for your family, for your community? How have you helped a lady like this to go through school? I mean the lady was standing here as the speech was being given. Have you assisted somebody who is in need have you lifted up somebody's life? Have you turned your energy into something positive rather than TikTok on social media every day? Telling lies, creating hatred in society, falsehoods that don't exist. That is negative energy. Are you using your energy? You heard this lady was energetic. Let's be honest. She was very energetic, active, outgoing. But she used her energy to help someone. Very big lesson. Are we using our energies to help someone? Our talents, our education. 
And I want to address we who were very lucky to have gone through to school, universities, very lucky. Undergraduates, masters, PhDs, how are we using those skills to make the country better? Are we using those skills to damage society? We learn from Mrs. Monoas. I could have said more, but I'm conscious we've been sitting here for long. But we're sitting here this long because of the person we are mourning, because her story has to be told, isn't it? That's another point that I'm delivering here. So really, let's have positive influence to society. Let's be of good value to society. Let's add and not subtract. And I speak the way I speak, having been now serving this country just under three years. I've been scanning our country, checking behaviors of people in a drought year like this. How are people behaving? How are they responding to drought? Are they using the drought as an opportunity? Yes, it's painful, but it's an opportunity to do things such as getting our energy mix right instead of depending on hydro. That's our agenda. Getting to irrigate so we can produce food 12 months a year. Difficulties are an opportunity, depending on how your brain is framed. You toss the coin around, you can see value from difficulties. You can learn from what she was able to do within the life, short life she was given. You can learn from her husband, who too had a short life, what he was able to do in that short life. We who are lucky to have longer lives, what are we doing with our long lives? It's a question I leave you with to answer privately. But you could whisper to your partner that HH asked me a question. This is my answer to the question he asked. You can whisper to your wife, to your husband, to your friend, to a family member. Let me be just by allowing this funeral to proceed to the graveyard and give her the decency that she exemplifies to bury her in time. Let's remember this, our daughter, our mother, our sister, our friend, positively. Let's remember her in perpetuity, as we remember her husband in perpetuity. I do ask people, you, you used to call Levy these names. What do you feel about him now? He says, ah, he was a great president. He was a great president. So we remember those that have performed in the roles that we perform today for their contribution to society. Those that came before us, on whose shoulders we stand in the service of the people of Zambia. We remember them through her, through this funeral. I have a message to the family. I express my views to a member of parliament for Kapiri, Stanley, to the late sister, to my sister seated next to me there, President Levi Manawasa's sister, that this is the time to bring the family together. Levi is gone, Maureen is gone. Jonas, mm -hmm. 
This is the time to bring the family together. Your efforts must be redoubled to keep, bring, keep the family together. That's the best way you can remember, Maureen, and they let David Munoz. And I must say, we will do our part to support in whatever way possible to keep the family together. I am saying first as individuals, as you heard, and I tell Chipo every now and then in State House that she has a duty to act correctly because people see her through her father, people see her through her mother, and all of you to act responsibly, professionally. So I am saying as individuals, we'll do our part. But as a government, we also do our part, because that's our duty. I do listen to what people say or write. This government provided as much support as we could to the late Maureen Monoas in many ways. It's not for us to sing that song here. Facts cannot be twisted. I wish to say here in closing that we thank all the mourners who have been able to make it here, those who are outside, quite a number of people are outside, those who are following the funeral service through the media. We thank you for your time, the respect you have accorded to this daughter of Zambia and the broader community, global community. We also want to say her memories will live on. And that's what we expect each one of us here to have your good words, works, memories to live on. And the collection of these memories can help our children who are growing up to be better people, responsible citizens, respectful, loving, and accountable to themselves, to their families, and to the community. Dalumba Abombi, God bless all of us. Thank you very much.
until invited for body viewing by the protocol officers. For now, all bearers, take your position. President, I request that we be upstanding. As soon as the casket passes over your By the right, slow, much, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out.
paparaza guys tend to bakange give